Greetings everyone. Mr. Kraft is back with a, uh, a video, long overdue video. Um, during the course of this first semester, uh, I realized that it was a bit more difficult than I had originally anticipated for students to understand how to you know, create a, uh, a Roman temple, how to reproduce the things that they would see on the screens in front of them. So. I've decided now, uh, before we begin our second round of temples, to create a uh, a brief, hopefully a brief tutorial on uh, on some of the basics uh, of how to how to go about creating your temple. And so, in game, what I've done here is I've uh, tried to show you basically a step by step process to create uh, recreate a Roman temple within game. Now, all of this, um, all of what I'm going to show you um, goes with the understanding that the students have already performed uh, all of their, or you have already performed all the uh, necessary research for your temple. So, you know, the dimensions of your temple, you have uh, sketches of it or, or images from the internet that you've uh, printed off and that you're able to use as reference. So I will, uh, I will speak as if everyone already has that information. So the first thing you'll, you'll have to do, um, and actually the students won't have to do this, I've already done it in the game, is I have determined the, uh, the plot, uh, how big the plot of land will be for each and every temple of ancient Rome. But uh, for those of you who are doing this uh, on your own in your spare time, uh, obviously, what you'll need to do is look up the uh, the dimensions of of the temple, its length and width, um, in terms of meters, uh, since one block is the equivalent of one meter. All right. So first, I've marked off the uh, the plot with uh, with Podzol here. Um, so we've got 16 blocks by 22. Uh, the next step is to create a podium, sometimes called a pedestal, for the uh, temple. In this case, I'm using just a uh, a marble texture and uh, I have raised it uh, it is three three blocks high so three meters high which is the typical height for the majority of Roman temples and I've just increased the podzel base um, three meters with now the uh, the marble block okay so the next step is to add a few more things we um, Many Roman temples uh, had an extension of the pedestal um, on the sides, which sort of, I guess, encased the stairs. Uh, the stairs here, you may opt to use um, uh, the abacus or even the block called gradus to, uh, to create your steps. I, the abacus step uh, block that I've created uh, just, just has a, a nicer flow into the temple. Next, you'll need to determine how many uh, columns there are going to be and what the uh, position of those columns is going to be. Sometimes, although not always, sometimes you may have to increase the width uh, or the length of your temple in order to accommodate the uh, actual number of columns that were present on your, uh, on your temple. And uh, depending on the, the type of column you're going to do will determine the kind of base. So here is a uh, crepido alta. So a tall base, and there is also a short base, which I can show you a bit later. All right. um, so we've placed the, uh, the columns, and inside we've also created the, uh, the wall for the kella, the cell. And this temple actually has a, a flat, it looks like it's going to have a flat back, and the columns uh, are, are going to be engaged, well, Sort of engaged. Uh, there is no walkway in between the column and the uh, and the set. All right. Then the next step is a minor one. You are going to want to add some accents to the base of the temple. Many Roman temples had this, and so we just take a, a gradus, so a step, and we're going to place it as I'll show you here all the way around the, uh, the top. So. The top takes an inverted step, and then of course the bottom is just a regular step. And we'll do this um, all the way around the temple to give it a nice, uh, a nice appearance. Okay. 
Our next step is to go ahead and add columns onto each one of our bases. So here I've opted for a, a more sort of traditional kind of Republican look where we have the uh, where we have the red columna. Uh, there are also just plain white uh, columni, and there is even a a gold one as well. So we will need to figure out as best we can the height of this and duplicate that in game until we reach the top where we will then add the uh, the column capital uh, in this case uh, it is Corinthian is what I've chosen with um, that uh, a gilded Corinthian capital okay the next step that you want to do is go ahead and raise the walls of the of the cell so here um, what I've done is uh, just I've just raised them. I've not enclosed anything yet. That'll come later. Um, the majority of Roman temples, uh, about a third of the way up, would just have uh, what looks like solid blocks of uh, of marble. Um, very often, it was just just a facade that was put on there. Uh, then, just above that, they would have uh, marble. What looks like marble brick that would go from uh, from the midway, well, the uh, after the first third is done, up to the uh, up to the rest of the uh, uh, to the top of the temple, and we can see that on the sides, and then we can see that again on the uh, on the back here. So we have the bricks up top, and then just the uh, the sort of marble slabs down on the uh, sides. Okay. Now, uh, once you have completed this. The next step I would suggest is to go ahead and let's put the entablature on the temple. So the entablature usually works this way. For the majority of your temples, um, it's going to be, let me get rid of some of these blocks, it's going to be uh, three blocks high. So first you'll have some sort of regular marble. In this case, I've just taken marmor as opposed to the uh, marmor lunense. Um, then we will pick some sort of zuphyrus. In this case, I've, I've chosen the uh, the scroll, or, or uh, I believe it's called Running Dog by Vitruvius. And then um, just above it, you'll need to place another block. It doesn't matter what you put here. I just put plain marble. Um, but then the idea is to do the same thing that we did down here on the on the on the pedestal on the podium. So we we take another gratis, another step. And we just want to invert it. And this is going to, all three of these will go all the way around the temple. Now there's no sense in filling in here, not yet, because many of the temples on the inside will find that the roofs were, or sorry, that the ceilings were domed. Okay. Now our next step is to go ahead and try and recapture that, um, the proper angle of the pediment. Uh, in this case, I've had to go, um, Abacus, gratis, and block. So in this case, a slab, a step, and then a block. And then we just increase that until we reach uh, the center, which happens to be a little odd. It's two blocks. Um, you don't want to go too high with the uh, the pedest or with the uh, pediment. Um, the angle needs to be um, be subtle, not um, not very steep. Okay. Then the next uh, next couple steps, um, we will add the uh, the pediment here. We'll add the interior. So this can be any number of uh, of colors, or you can even add uh, add statues. Perhaps I'll do another video where I can show you how to uh, sort of recreate uh, kind of a statue on the inside here, and that's going to be on the front side and uh, the back side, remembering to keep um, a space in between uh, the uh, pediment and then the actual overhang, right? You want to have that indention there. And so that's what that's going to look like. Then we'll need to connect uh, the, uh, the ends of the pediment here. We'll need to connect it with the, uh, the tile blocks. So just repeat the pattern. So in this case, it was slab, step, block, and so we'll need to do slab, step, and block. We'll need to do the same, and you just connect, go from one end 
uh, all the way down to the other end. All right. And now we, um, we're reaching the final stages, and I'm actually going to do a separate video on uh, the decoration uh, of the temple so that I can keep these a bit short. But I wanted to touch on some of the main points. Um, <clears throat> so you'll need to, you don't necessarily need to have um, a fire, so a giant brazier or anything like that here. Um, a lot of the temples did have a sort of a great. Uh, which was uh, connected in, in between the, uh, the columns. Uh, just on the interior, we're going to have... Now, these are some very elaborate, what are called acrotaria. You don't need to go as elaborate as I have uh, have done here. I've got uh, So I have some eagles and then a couple of uh, statues, a couple of figures holding swords. Uh, but there are various different things, and you'll need to see what your temple, what what uh, uh, arche <coughs> archaeologists thinks, think was actually on your temple. Okay, we have some lighting here on both sides. Uh, we also have a uh, have a door here. I've opted for um, wood, which is not common. Most common was this sort of uh, bronze material here, um, although I find it to be a, a little unattractive when it's the entire door. So I just placed it in, in strategic places here. Um, before you go into the temple, the uh, the door itself is going to have a bit of a decoration above it. Um, usually, though not always, a window to allow natural light in, so the temple is not entirely dark on the inside. And then you'll have some sort of uh, ceiling decoration, uh, which is this block here, um, where we have the uh, the coffered ceilings. And then you will go into the interior of the temple, and here is where you will you will bend, uh, begin to add your uh, add your various uh, uh, decorations according to the the temple uh, that you uh, that you've created with some sort of a statue in the center, and the a few various other uh, other elements, uh, perhaps a domed uh, ceiling, and so on. Um, but I think I'm going to do a, a separate video on uh, on how to go about uh, recreating this here. Um, but I just wanted to uh, to do this quick little video here to give you an idea as to how to build uh, your temple from the research that's been given or that you've performed, um, how to build it and build it um, accurately. All right. Well, that takes care of this uh, this quick little video. I hope that that was um, hope that that was helpful, and and I will see you um, in the next video where I talk a little bit more about the uh, the decorations and how to make it a more um, authentic Roman temple. All right. Thank you guys, and we'll see you soon.